Good evening, Mrs. Crosby. Good evening. Well, shall we go? Yes, madam. Good night. Good night. It hasn't seemed like a month since we met. It hasn't seemed like a month since we met. It wasn't a question. It hasn't seemed like a month since we met, has it? No. Mm, you can be aggravating at times. You're the first man who's ever been around me for a month without making love to me. Do you know that? I can imagine. Well? Don't you think I'm uh, attractive? I like your hat. Don't you think I'm attractive? No. You don't? Just what do you think of me? Well, I think you're an utterly spoiled young woman. Self-centered, egotistical, conceited. And you'll never be completely happy until some man takes you by the scruff of the neck and beats the devil out of you. Where are we going? Well, you said you wanted to go slumming, so I picked a place to eat in the village. Only wild poets and anarchists eat there. It's pretty tough. What time will we get back? About 10. That's fine. You'll be able to get up early in the morning and look for a new job. You're fired. And go dashing up and down the hall. To la 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 some canary bird's eyebrows. So you're Jay Randall, eh? Do you hate me? I knew it the second day. You did? Mm -hmm. I saw your picture as a polo player in Vanity Fair's Hall of Fame. You weren't fooling me. I knew you were a liar anyway. How? Saying you didn't think I was attractive. <laughs> you're such a darling. I'm going to marry Nasser. Now, wait a minute, son. You don't know anything about her. No? No. Well, I'll tell you what I do know about her. When you began going with her, I started an investigation.